that away. While you're shutting that down, I'm going to uh, let Heath come. Heath read and uh, Heath talk to us a little bit about what you want to propose to us. And let us just think about this too. This is all nice, just really for discussion, and we're not voting on anything, but uh, it gives us an opportunity to discuss some things that we have on our mind for several months. So, okay. I'll let you vote. Met with the mayor, I guess, two or three weeks ago, uh, discussed something that we've discussed numerous times before, which is the Munson Ware building. Uh, we've looked at options. I look back today, I probably had 20 cost estimates in my computer, different options we've looked at. Renovating the building, demolishing part of the building, demolishing all of the building. Uh, in our discussion a couple weeks ago, the idea came back up again about a demolition of the building. And I've, I've given the mayor some suggestions of some things we need to do if we go down and we decide to demolish the building. Uh, obviously, we need to think about if we demolish that building, the, the basement needs to be filled in. We don't want to take the top off the building, leave that basement as a dangerous situation, as an eyesore. Uh, so what I suggested was if you decide to go ahead and do the demolition of the building, is have the contractor, you know, bid out a project. Uh, even though that, that may be a, a very low number, you know, contractors may come in and say, I'll take that building down for free. The value of that project is several hundred thousand dollars. So that needs to be bid because of public bid law. Uh, public bid law. Even though the, you know, they may bid a dollar, I don't know, you know, whatever their number is, the value of that scope of work is greater than you know, the, the bid law of $50,000, so that would need to be bid out. But my suggestion was that we <coughs> include in that package the demolition of the building and also a site grading so that you would come in and fill the basement up, remove all the debris, possibly even breach the uh, dams or the ponds to fill those in. Just make that one large project uh, so that that contractor that takes down the building doesn't just leave you with a mess that you've got to clean up later. So I gave the mayor asked me for a proposal for our firm to put that package together. I, had, I don't know if the council has got a copy of that later. I did give them one, but I don't know if they have one. I'll briefly run through what our proposal was and what all that would include. Uh, we propose to do a, a topographic survey of the site that basically gives you a contour mount for grading for future projects. I know we've looked at several options out there, ball fields, uh, aquatic facility, several things. You would need a good topo survey of the site, so we would do that, a one foot contour item, a one foot contour topo of the site. Uh, a site grading plan, so that once the building is gone, if you chose to go that route, the contractor would have a plan to know this is what I've got to leave the site, this is the condition I've got to leave it in. Uh, specifications and bid documents for demolition. Uh, you know, I know it sounds simple to just tell a contractor to go tear it down, but we need to make sure we go through the proper procedures of demolition, uh, that the materials are hauled to the proper landfill. We give them the specifications and the bid documents they need to go by. Uh, we handle all the advertisement for bid, uh, preparation of all the contract documents, getting contractors the information they need to bid on the project. And then one thing I mentioned to the mayor is there needs to be some oversight, some inspection that goes on during that demolition. You know, if a contractor comes in here and takes the building down and just takes it somewhere off and somebody's hollering and dumps it and the city is locked. This is the city's property. So that those building debris need to be taken to a certified C D landfill. So there needs to be some project oversight, some inspection. Obviously, there's some material in that building that could be salvaged. The steel could be uh, sold as salvage. But some of the inert materials, some of the construction materials, need to be taken to a proper C and D landfill and disposed of properly. So, uh, you know, I would recommend that you do some type of inspection of the contractor that does that work. So that's our proposal to put that package together for you and advertise it if you want to go that route. Uh, the mayor had also called me today and said, you know, let's think about some of the options we've looked at over the years of a renovation of that building. And I pulled up one cost estimate, like I said, I probably had 15 or 20 in my computer, but one cost estimate we did last summer was for a partial demolition and partial rehab of that building. Uh, that building is about 150,000 square foot, 160,000, somewhere in there. And we had, the option we looked at last summer was 
a demolition of 65,000 square foot and a rehab of the other 95,000 square foot. Uh, some of that being auditorium type facilities and some of it being an actual finish where you did mechanical, HVAC, lighting. Uh, the cost estimate on that project was around $7.5 million. Uh, that's just one of the options. We've looked at options over the years that ranged from 2 to $3 million to I think 10 to 12 million depending on what you want to do with that facility. So, uh, you know, I guess the question we need to look at tonight is you want to proceed with a demolition or a partial demolition or we want to look at some other options as far as the remodeling of that building. I'd like a copy of that. Now that's what goes with the May 23rd meeting when we met over there. That's the report that we were supposed to get a month after that meeting. Is that correct? Yeah, this cost estimate was done in July of 2013. So that was after that. May 23rd. Yeah, we walked through the side. Right, right, right. Okay. I think the discussions at that meeting were to do a civic center type facility there. Um, we were going to rehab the roof at a cost of around a little less than a million dollars. Uh, there was going to be a 12,500 square foot auditorium, uh, about 18,000 square foot of office area meeting meeting rooms, and then about a 75,000 square foot exhibition hall that we talked about for some of your festivals. The total cost on that, like I said, was around seven and a half million. But then, but then the estimate for just the 75,000 square foot building was $8 million. So... A building, a new 75,000? Yes, according to the newspaper. It says Hankins said a new 75,000 square foot building in Hamilton, if built from scratch, as opposed to renovating the current building, would cost $8 million. If we said that, I'm sure it's one of the cost estimates we did. That's probably right. Would that be half the size of 75,000 square foot? Mm -hmm. Also, in that article, they say that the renovation would be $4.2 million. <clears throat> renovation of. When was that? That was in the uh, article in the June 5th in the journal record. Okay, that's probably an, an option that was looked at before this. Well, we know there's several options. I mean, yeah, like I said, you've got a, a million or 10 million. You've got a 150,000 square foot building. There's, you can renovate a portion of it or all of it for various different costs. Depending on if you want an exhibition hall with no lighting and HVAC, more of an open roof, or if you want to do a Civic Center type facility, obviously your costs are going to be higher or something like that. I don't know need a roof on if we're going to do anything. I will say That's in the first the, thing we need to do is put a roof on. We toured the building, you're saying in May of last year? May 23rd. Yeah, which was the first time I'd been in it in probably three or four years, and a lot of deterioration of that roof structure over that period of time. about the other structure part of it. I yeah, when we first started looking at this thing, I guess the first time I went to the building was seven or eight, nine years ago. I think we could have got by at that point with just a new roof. Uh, you know, the member, do you remember a roof? Now it's to the point where you've had so much deterioration of that roof that you've got structural issues, not structural issues, but bar joist issues. Structurally, the building's fine. You know, the, the walls are fine, the main structural members are fine. But some of those bar joists have now been exposed to the atmosphere for so long a period of time, they're starting to rust. Uh, I, don't, I don't think you can get by today with just putting a new roof on the building. I think there would have to be some structural members, some bar joists replaced, if not all of them. New decking, something that may not have been done eight, nine years ago. Well, we know that property is very variable to the city, too. Bell. And we can have water park, nature trails, ball fields, numerous, and numerous things we can do along the river. Uh, but as a building, if you build a new building, would that be cheaper than remodeling that one, even though it would be smaller? I mean, a spec building costs per million dollars. And you could put another million or so with it and have a pretty nice building. As suppose to spending 10 million or 8 million or 6 million on that one. You know, there may be more room, but is it feasible? You know, if we got to find out if it's feasible for the city, how much money are we going to spend over there? And, you know, that's, yeah, that's a discussion we had. 
you know, you've got a large building there. The question is, do you need that much space? If you went out today and built a new building, would you build a 75, 80,000 square foot building? And I guess it depends on what your needs are. And we talked about tearing part of that building down, part of the old part, and leaving that big part. I do have a question. Your experience in renovation versus new, even if you have to replace the structural members, and I went over and toured the building today myself, and um, so I looked in there, and I do agree, it looks like some of those up there would, not the main structure, but the other ones wouldn't have to be replaced. But it just seems like that if you've already got a pad, you already have walls, and you already have the main structural components for the roof, that putting the decking and putting a roof on it would be significantly cheaper than demolition and going back and laying a new pad, and putting new walls, and putting a new structure up. In your past experience, is that, is that the way you've seen it? Or I think it depends on what your goal in the end is. If you want a 150,000 square foot building with 20 foot you know, ceilings, then yeah, it would be cheaper to renovate that building. Right. If your goal is to have a 20,000 square foot facility with you know, 10, 12 foot ceilings in it, no, it would probably be cheaper to tear that down. Yeah, I'm just saying for the same square footage. The same square footage with the same high roof. Yeah. You know, some of those roofs in that building are 20, 25 foot plus, and that's not the type of roof you want in a civic center or a municipal building. Or I'm, yeah, I'm just saying we may want to, you, you know, decided if you want a 20,000 square foot building, then part of that building, well, there's no real good section that qualify for 20,000 square feet, but let's say there's one section there that's built 67, is 50,000 square feet. If we could take that 50,000 square foot section and or build a new building 50,000 square feet, um, comparable cost or less or Definitely more? cheaper to remodel it if it fits your needs. Okay. <coughs> Be a better building, a better built building than a metal building. Yes, yeah, perfectly sound building. That brick, that block with brick on the outside, if I remember. Yes, I guess. Yeah, it's a well built building. Yeah, I mean, community, <coughs> community storm cellar underneath in the, in, the, in the basement. That basement's how big. I mean, that's a big. Yeah, it's a big basement I'm there. Yeah. And it's close to the third of the building, I think. 30,000. Yeah, I remember this in good shape. People was in there basically every time. Just playing yeah. in there. Cavalier was in there. Service department Cavalier. He's real <laughs> mobile honest. <laughs> but like it is, it's deteriorating. I mean, it's been deteriorating for eight years at least, if not longer. We either got to bite the bullet and either fix it, tear it down, or do something with it. It's, you know, it's an eyesore, it's dangerous, it's a liability. We can't even get insurance on the building. So that's the reason I wanted you to come tonight for you know, this discussion. Not that we're both tonight to do anything, but just kind of put our hands together and figure out and get something started. You know. Yeah, there's numerous options out there that what you can do with the building and the property. So the best thing I think is to decide what are your need and then work towards that need to see is it, is it better to renovate that building or start over with something new. What if a study was done to see about the feasibility of it? How much is that? Yeah, you mentioned that to me today and I'm, I'm not sure what that cost would be. One time we talked like 10, 12, 15 thousand. Years. That's probably pretty close. That's a lot of money. Just you know, commit to doing that. What would they tell us other than what you're telling us? Are you, what type of feasibility study are you talking about? Well, was it structurally sound or uh, architectural? You know. Yeah. As far as you know, what we've done over the years and doing that again, if you come to us and say we need a seventy-five thousand square foot auditorium and twenty-five thousand square foot of meeting space. You know, we can help you put those numbers together. We're not going to charge anything for that. Um, as far as everything I've seen in the building, there's nothing structurally wrong with the foundation, the walls, the, the main structural components of the building. It's just the roof. Wade, can I have about two minutes yes, to go from where yes, this building began? Yes, he was here. Thank you. Please, I'm not here 
create a controversy. I'm here to just give my opinion. Everybody's got one. You know, accept it. I'm going to charge you anything for it, okay? Uh, eight, about eight years ago, we acquired that building, me and my council. Uh, Wallace Malone was a real good friend of a real good friend of mine, Mr. Gene Sanderson. I don't mind telling you who it was. Gene was on the board of South Trust Bank here in town. And I, I met, I had a cup of coffee with Scotty about an hour and a half ago, so I didn't get Gene's permission to use his name, but I got his son and his grandson. So if you listen to Gene, but Gene came down to my office, and we called Wallace Malone. He said, yeah, right, that building's for sale. He said, we want $950,000 for it. I said, Mr. Malone, we're not wanting to buy it. We want you to give it to us. So it was deathly silence for about 30 seconds. And he came back and he said, let me think about that. South Trust was in the process of selling out to Wachovia, and we knew that. And I said, Mr. Malone, you can give that building to us and write it off and make more money than if you sold it for $950,000. And he said, let me think about it. So he called me the next morning, his secretary did, and said, Mr. Harper, get your attorneys and get the deeds all drawn up. We're going to keep you that building. So they gave us that building and I don't know, what's over there, 30 acres, 40? Gave us that building free and clear. So to say this, that building is near and dear to my heart. And that was my goal, to get something done with it. We need a civic center, bad. We need jobs and something to bring people here. And I said, and nobody, all of you guys knows that as well as I do. We need something to bring people here. But we need jobs. So going back, I had I've been through that building. I walked through with three clients with an umbrella over my head. I swear to you, I'm a pretty good salesman, but I ain't that good. When you guys walk through with an umbrella to keep it from raining on your clients. So to be that in my opinion, we'd make a terrible mistake to tear that building down. That building, Heath, it's got three kinds of material in the roof. There's three different Types roof on that building. It's a metal roof on part of it, uh, build up, tar and gravel, or and then the kind of rubberized roof on part of it. The part you're talking about, which is the low section, I got a quote on it, two quotes on it. A company from Columbus and Miller Roofing who put the roof on the courthouse. $520,000, $530,000, maybe more than that, probably will. I don't know, but that's the quote we had on it. If, you, if your house is leaking and you want to remodel it, first thing you do is put a roof on it and stop the water. So that's the main thing is get a roof on it. But the section that he's talking about, that low section where you structure your wood, the last contractor, now what they do, Heath, you're probably familiar with that, they don't put that decking back there. The wood, they put insulated metal in your metal is also the inside roof. So put metal on that. You say you're going to crack a barrel and it's got a metal roof, but it's insulated on the other side. My opinion is, is the big section, the brick, the red on the east, do it, do it in sections, do that section, and that would accommodate anything we need in this town for a vent. Do that section. And when I was mayor, that didn't have that section didn't have a leak in it. I don't know. I don't know now. I haven't been in it. That particular section that I'm talking about did not have a leak in it. So we can make an entrance on the outside just to that building. Get that done. Get a roof on it. Then get a roof on the rest of it. But I wouldn't tear any of it down. We got an opportunity. And Ed, where are you at? There you are. Before you write in the paper that I don't even live here any longer, <laughs> I'm messing with you. I don't, but I'm fixing to move back. Okay, <laughs> they, they clear that up. So anyway, they say home is where your heart is. Your heart is where your home is. This is my home. I'm from Walker County. This will always be my home. This mayor and this council has done a good job. I'm gonna say that. And I'm just, all I want to do is save that building. You remember Gorbachev? Ronald Reagan told Gorbachev, 
Berlin Wall. He said, don't t tear this wall down. So I'm saying, Mr. Mayor, Council, please don't tear this building down. Thank you. And that's why we're having discussions. That's why we're having Thank you. nobody's voting tonight to tear it down. We just want to have some discussion and see if it's something that uh, we want to pursue. And uh, that's why we're here. So I mean, if anybody else has anything to say, that's fine. We'll, we'll just keep moving forward. But we definitely want to do something. The building is in disrepair. And we don't want to leave it like it is. I want you, you got the man sitting right yeah. over here to help you get the money. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> he says we can borrow all we want. So, so. And that's why he's here tonight. And this one we're doing this. Just, you know, we want to we want to do something. And uh, it's like Ray says, we can't do it all at one time. You can't do it all at one time. But we got to be willing, Tim, to step forward. If it costs a half a million dollars, are y'all willing to spend half a million dollars? You should take that low for a roof. And turn it you into an indoor yes. flea market like two blow hands have it once a month. You can't imagine how many people you There's a lot of possibilities. But we want place. to do something with that. It's a great place to have a we've even talked about having a water park. We need something for our we kids. Have something that nobody so, else has got. Right. But any other comments on that that part of the building? Well there's one more thing okay. I had it set up and you might want to look into this. Yes, I had a meeting set up with the county commission. Three of them. Two on the opposite side of the county didn't show up. We got three on this side. And y'all know that story. But anyway, three of them showed up. Well, I said, we're waiting on them. I thought I hadn't talked to each other. So this suburban drives up, and there was six people got out. Three county commissioners and three cattle farmers. Oh, what's this? So one of them says, well, we need to be up high where we can see our cows. I said, we don't. This is not going to be a cow barn. This is going to be an exposition center. If y'all want to build a cow, whatever you call it, ag center, I said you got about 25 acres back here behind it. We can do that. You can have rodeos. You can have all sorts of things. It's just unbelievable what could be done with it. But you might want to bring the county commission into it. Get them involved in it. C3, they talk about unity all the time. Get them involved. Make it a... You ain't got to call it the Hamilton Civic Center. Call it the Marion County Civic Center. I no. doubt they'd be willing to pitch in. When they want to build an automobile plant, <laughs> right. we were the first to step up and give them a million bucks. So. That's exactly right. And it would have happened. It would come that close. If the economy hadn't went down, yes. folks, it, it would have happened. Okay. Uh, thank you, Larry. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate you.